In the world of Lord of the Rings Online, there is a void of community-made content created. For years, this plagued the community leaving Lotro news left in the shadows. Until one man rose up to the occasion and began a journey from simple beginnings to now becoming the most well-known Lotro content creator on the internet. But what was his secret? What made this man stand out from the rest? Today we will dive into the YouTube delvings, use our level 10 stone, and uncover the secrets below. Louis 7, a man who started out playing World of Warcraft, later found out about Lotro and tried to give the Lore Master class a try. Thinking it'd be similar to one of the classes he mained on WoW, but it wasn't. This was almost the end of his relationship with Lotro because the playstyle of the Lore Master just wasn't to his liking. Until he found the Rune Keeper who he could mow down mobs with his fire skills and from this quickly began his passion for the game. With many content creators of Lotro, they are very fanatic about J.R.R. Tolkien's work, the author of the Lord of the Rings trilogy and creator of Middle-earth. Most content creators read these books religiously every year as if it is their own Bible. But not this man, not Louis Seven. So how then would he grow into the spot he is in today within the Lotro community, with so little knowledge to the lore behind the world he played in? His first video was published to YouTube December 25th, 2012. In this video, he would show his Runekeeper skills at level 50. There was no voice, no commentation, or editing involved, just a simple gameplay slapped onto the page. But this posted video will lead into him evolving his videos later down the line. Whether he knew it or not, these videos would later make him into the king of Lotro content. It was a while of his channel being stagnant and not viewed too much until his channel began to post many how-to videos, leveling guides, zone reviews, tier list, and now news of things such as updates coming to the game and a possible graphics overhaul to the game for the future. But what about the cats? Huh? The what? The cats. The title of this video? The thumbnail? What about the cats? In Louis Seven's time of showing the community his love of the game, a new group of characters would rise into the scene. The community would learn Louis Seven has cats, as they would occasionally jump into the front of his screen and steal the spotlight demanding attention. The viewers quickly began to want more. Want more of the cats. Louis Seven, give us the cats. The cats became an important piece to the standing out from other content creators. This is so evident where Lowly7 even had a video with a cat cam throughout the entire video. But why? Why do the viewers have such a fascination of these cats? Has Lowly7 cracked the code to the Lodro community's hearts? Obviously, the cats must have had an important part of Lowly7's growth, as if they were just companions during editing videos or just pals for everyday life. They connected all the pieces together for Louis Seven. The how-tos, the let's plays, the zone reviews, tier list, and news updates. All credit made from the cats. Sounds a bit ridiculous that some cats would set this YouTuber apart from others. Or does it? My only assumption is the cats must remind the viewers of their everyday life and the joy of pets and what happiness they can bring while gaming. Would Louis Seven be this well known for his content in the Lotro community without his cats? No matter your opinion, I believe the cats seem to think not. Now hear me out for a second. So even though Louis Seven is the creator of the videos, the cats are the masters over the content, and they don't let him forget that. Every single time they jump in front of his screen to tell the audience who is really pulling the strings when the video is over. 
Louis Seven's growth is impressive to say the least, and he is one of the godfathers of Lojo content creation. His videos are practical, informative, entertaining, and ever growing for the better. So much support from I to you, Louis Seven. Keep making content, and I think I speak on behalf of the Lotro community when I say, we thank you for all the work you have done. But don't forget who's in charge. Ah!